Something a bit unusual about the boat tonight. It's facing the wrong way. And actually I kind of prefer it facing that way. Um, the reason we more bow in normally is it's just a lot easier to, to dock. Um, but yeah, I had to put the mainsail up today to uh, fix a few things that are broken. Um, and it's a westerly wind, which is that way. So I need to point it into the wind to help the sail go up. Yeah, it's cool though. Don't look at my broken GPS antenna. Or any of the other broken bits. There are so many bits falling off this boat. It's quite depressing actually. Um, when I had it out at Beauset, I did all that work under the water and on the engine. I really did think I was breaking the back of the work to be done. Um, but that's very much not the case. Oh, where do I start? So, when we were spinning the boat around today, I think my mate might, might have grabbed this, uh, which is no fault of his own because it was uh, held in by a 3D printed cup with a 3D printed nut that is very flimsy as you can see and that failed So stanchions form back into the boat, not ideal um, But you can just 3D print a beefier, beefier nut uh, Main issues I'm trying to resolve at the moment are with the rig um, So I've made some changes um, I've put some new cleats on which I found the other day for the spinnaker halyard and the spinnaker pole uphaul. I have rebalanced the tension in uh, the rigging and hopefully now got a straight and true mast, maybe. I've kind of decided the mast might be sinking into the deck. Um, it just seems to be mildly depressed there and there is a crack. I'm not sure if that's new. Um, I'm not sure how I'll find out. Maybe do a 3D scan and measure it up. That might tell us. Um, there's my freshly welded main halyard winch plate. It actually seems to have at least temporarily done the job. Uh, at least it got the main up tonight. Um, we'll see. Uh, what else? What else is terrifying? Spreaders. We don't talk about the spreaders. They're still there. That's all that matters. Um, right, what am I actually talking about? I've been waffling. Right, so my boom is weirdly mounted to the mast. It's mounted on this kind of gooseneck that's on a track that allows you to adjust it up and down. I've got no idea why. No idea. Is it supposed to act as some kind of Cunningham? Not entirely sure. Doubt it, seeing as there seems to be a Cunningham hole, but um, right, anyway, not the original, so blah blah blah. blah waffling so track gooseneck um it moves it has this kind of weird tensioning block system but it also has this kind of spring-loaded pin uh which yeah you can kind of see that there should sit in these holes in the track some of these holes such as this one are in fantastic condition other holes like the one it's in uh, and I guess to a lesser extent, uh, this one are kind of worn, so it doesn't actually sit in them. If this, if there's no tension on the little block system, it literally just pings up. It's a complete pain in the ass when you're trying to set kind of how your tension stuff like that when you've got a variable down here. Uh, but anyway, that's what we've got. So I can either <laughs> weld this or some other method of securing it, bolt it to this track, remove the track. I don't know go for a more conventional setup or I can do what I plan on doing which is um well, this is the height the the sail should start at so it's in the right position now and there is a hole so you see you've got like a little rivet thing then you got the hole that it sits in and up at the top we've got a little rivet thing and then a really decent condition hole so what I'm going to do is drill this out flip it over and then hopefully that will give me a few more years of life. It's all down to whether or not this weird pin thing has rounded off or whether it still works. Uh, other terrible things. So the boom 
the boom doesn't even sit straight it's kind of twisted to the side as you can kind of see you can definitely see um yeah annoying um this bit so you've got the aluminium extrusion of the the boom but you've got these kind of cast elements that sit in the end of it that cast element is attached to the boom by these stainless straps which are then kind of screwed and riveted the extrusion um the casting is literally split in half there used to be this stainless strap down here which has obviously completely detached itself um go around this side oh, look at the twist look at the twist uh, yeah so this is probably the only thing holding it on maybe this to some extent although it's not looking great so yeah less than ideal really i don't know how much new booms are or whether i could get something fabbed up to replace that end element thing is the whole boom is in a terrible way this is where the reefing pulley this used to live and you can see it's all corroded crazy i don't know whether that's because salt water has got trapped behind it or whether that's electrolytic galvanic sorry corrosion um between the fixings on there i don't know whether or not they greased them up properly uh casting at the back looks all right though so at least it's got one tick in the box um the work i'm actually doing tonight is to remount my van after it kind of exploded off the other day um the van oh, i'm on the wrong side there we go the van which i'm just refitting i put a new gas strut in it uh sits on this thingy this thingy used to be riveted there and to a point underneath there both of those holes are now kind of giant and enlarged and failing i tried riveting it back into them the other night uh using 6.4 mil monel rivets which i do not recommend trying to put in with a hand tool uh, especially into a thing that's wobbling around above your head. It didn't go well for me. I smacked myself in the face, cut my lip, cut my hand. Yeah, just don't do it. Um, I'm hoping to buy a proper, buy? Borrow a proper rivet gun off um, my neighbour, uh, which should be able to put the correct size rivets in. Problem is, we're racing tomorrow and I kind of need it done and I don't have that rivet gun. So what do I do? Those holes are 6.4. Could I get a 4.8 mil rivet in there and call it good enough for tonight and then drill them out and drill bigger holes? No, I don't know. So the plan is basically uh, ignore these holes because I think I, it needs moving a bit anyway and just drill new holes where the rivets will actually drip into. Too much talking. I've got to get on a bit. Okay, that's the Vang main halyard winch done, plus a couple of the cleats. Um, next, I'm going to either focus on the boat electrics or the amount of water that's leaked into the boat. Not really sure which. Um, there's plenty of other things to work on as well before the season starts. Um, need to do a full rig check, really. 
I know there's a number of rusty split pins and I know there's some UV exposed dynema that I need to change. Anyway, jobs for next time. See you soon.